It was a conversation Shannon and Edward Johnson never expected to happen with their daughter's principal. Her teacher had called McKenzie a bloody Indian. A swear word they say was used over 100 years ago when Native Americans were held captive. It hurts really deep, you know, more than most can speak. The parents say their daughter, Kenzie, was more worried about her classmate. I'm more worried about my friend, she said. And at the time, I didn't know about the haircutting yet. Kenzie told her parents that most of her English class at Cibola High School dressed up for Halloween. Even the teacher dressed as a voodoo witch. The teacher told the students they were going to play a game. If they answered correctly, they'd earn a marshmallow. Incorrect answers got a dog treat. And a native got the question wrong. And the teacher asked her if she liked her hair. And then, snip. At the tip, you know, by the rubber band is where her hair was cut. You're taking someone's sacred hair, which is an indication of our, our own culture, of our identity, and it's a lineage that goes back to way, way, way back into our culture. Dressed as Little Red Riding Hood with a red paw print on her face, Kinsey says the teacher made her way toward her and asked what she was supposed to be, a bloody Indian. She said she was in shock. She said she was infuriated. A statement from an APS spokesman says the employment relationship with the teacher has severed. They wouldn't say if she quit or if she was fired. Now the parents say they want this situation to bring a positive change throughout the district. At this point, they don't understand. But what we want to do is work with them, create some policies and procedures so that in the future, when another event happens, there are recourse. Katie Marsh, KYT, Action 7 News.